Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I want to thank you, Mr. Secretary, and uh, Mr. Chairman, thank you for your testimony and uh, both of you for your service. Uh, and, Mr. Chairman, especially with, uh, with you, uh, you uh, obviously, with uh, the, all the expertise and experience uh, that you'll take with you when that time comes, um, uh, you'll leave very big shoes to fill. And I, again, want to thank you for all you've accomplished and for all your service. Um, Mr. Secretary, can you convince me and the American people that our strategy in, in Iraq right now in trying to hold that country together is the right one, given the fact that it, it doesn't seem like the Iraqi people are willing to fight for their own country, evidenced by the fact that uh, the, the soldiers that, uh, that we helped to train when uh, ISIL came in, uh, they uh, basically took the uniforms off and, and ran. And, uh, and it doesn't seem to me that, uh, that and you mentioned the, uh, the, the sectarian uh, violence and the sectarianism that uh, are we trying to artificially hold together in Iraq that doesn't want to be held together? And are we asking our men and women in, in uniform uh, to go into a situation and put themselves in harm's way for uh, a, a, an artificial effort? To, to hold that, that country together? Would we be better off focusing on another strategy that, that had a, uh, a more realistic look at what the, what the local people there want uh, and, and pursue a strategy that will then allow us to focus on we once and for all defeating ISIL? Beyond that, uh, with the President's decision last week to send 400 additional, 450 additional advisors to Iraq, I, I'd like to know how this outwardly reactive move is coupled to a strategy and, and how it addresses bottlenecks in terms of the results that we'd like to see from our, our efforts and those of our allies and partners. And the, the ranking member mentioned uh, how the, uh, the leader of the Iraqi parliament was disappointed that we don't have more buy-in from nations in the region. I want to ensure that, uh, as, as I'm sure my colleagues here do as well, that we aren't asking our, our men and women in uniform to risk their lives for actions that are disconnected from a larger strategic effort. So 